The Mehuk Bukhari Murder Case, Trial Day 38, from Leicester Crown Court. Some viewers may find scenes that are distressing. Viewer discretion is advised. True crime and breaking news. The best one minute and under news channel on TikTok. The last defendant in the TikTok murder trial has been accused of hiding evidence in the aftermath of the fatal collision on the A46. Mohammed Patel also revealed his poor mental health was a reason for his version of events changing multiple times. Patel, 21, is the eighth and final defendant taking the stand at Leicester Crown Court as Thursday's evidence saw him face further scrutiny about a wheel brace he had tucked down his trousers prior to the collision itself. These questions came from co-accused Recon Carwin's barrister Mark Rainsford, who probed Patel on how honest and straightforward he was about the wheel brace. Patel has insisted throughout to be telling the truth, but Mr. Rainsford pointed towards Patel's own admission of wiping down the wheel brace after the collision to remove his fingerprints. He later swapped his phone to avoid being traced too. These decisions Mr. Rainsford said were sly. He said, your actions were sly. This is hiding evidence, was it not? Mr. Rainsford also laid out a series of responses from Patel that blamed nearly all of his co-defendants for the deaths of Saqib Hussein and Hashim Ejizuddin, but of which he took little or no blame himself, putting his honesty into question. The barrister accused Patel of only being honest when it suited him. He said, it's always someone else's fault. If you had to put it on someone else and put them them under the water like Rican, then you would do it to survive. However, that prompted a strong response from Patel who dismissed claims he had lied to keep himself out of trouble. He said, I'm being straightforward. What else do you want from me? The wheel brace, which Patel took with him from Lester's Tomlin Road to the alleged meetup in the Tesco car park in Hamilton, has been a major part of his questioning since taking the stand. It formed a large section of Mr. Rainsford's questioning too, with Patel, alleging he had been forced into putting the item down his trousers, a claim he later went back on. Mr. Rainsford said Patel's ever-changing stories were a concern for his wider evidence when heightened by the fact Patel admitted to being high on cannabis at the time of the wheel brace being given to him. In response, Patel claimed as well as being affected by drugs he was suffering from poor mental health, which meant his answers had changed with time. Because of that, Patel said, my mental state was all over the place. There were a million and one things going on in my head. Mr. Rainsford believed he was once again blaming other factors. He said, so you're trying to blame cannabis for putting the wheel brace down your trousers? Patel acknowledged the drug may have had impact on his choices and memory, but stood firm on claims that both Reyes Jamal and Rikan Karwan had chatted about ramming the victim Skoda off the A46. He said, there were a number of factors that have impacted my memory, but I gave police a clear recollection of what I remembered that night. He was quizzed by his co-defendant's barristers as well as his own over a number of hours with the accused revealing a state of shock following the crash at Six Hills in February last year. After returning home to Braybrook Road in Leicester, Patel revealed his confusion at what had actually happened was the reason he did not call police. He said, I had just witnessed a horrible accident, I didn't know what to do with myself. I was scared. I did think about calling the police, but I was still in shock. But it wasn't until a couple of days later that I thought to call them. He denied the barrister's claim, saying the accusation was false and that he told the police the truth about the collision. He did concede that an earlier claim Mahek Bukhari's Audi TT collided with the victim Skoda Fabia was a mistake though. It was an admission that led Leonard Smith, KC, raised Jamal's barrister to question how truthful Patel's evidence actually was. He said, Everything you said in your interview is the truth, is it? Everything? The case will continue today. You can read the in-depth analysis of this case next, which we write every day, as to give you more insight into the proceedings. Thank you for supporting us.
court has been adjourned for today. We will be back on Monday. Please join us then. Thanks for watching our channel. Please share.